Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some resin flower coasters, but really quickly before we jump into today's video, I wanted to show you how I mix up my white that I use for my flower coasters. So I always use the Angel White Epoxy Paste from Laura's Art Corner. And what I do is I take my stir stick, mix up the product inside the container, scrape off the excess that's on my stir stick on the side of the container, and I only use the tiny bit that's left on my stir stick. And I have just about one ounce of clear resin in this cup, and then I just mix it really well until the white is completely incorporated. And then I take out the stick that I used to basically grab my angel white out of the product container and I use a new stick and I stir that up just to make sure everything is 100% mixed. So that's how I use or I mix my white that I use for my flower coasters. I wanted to show you that to you guys really quickly. So today we're actually going to be using the Platinum 360 resin from Laura's Art Corner. Check out how clear it is. It has hardly any bubbles, which is so awesome. It's a two to one ratio resin. And I'll just tell you guys right now, it is the best that I have tried for resin flower coasters. My flower coasters have just been turning out so pretty using this resin. So definitely check it out if you're wanting to make resin flower coasters. I'll link it down below along with my coupon code. So I just filled up my mold about halfway full. Um, these molds are really big. You can get them off Amazon. They take about five or four, four to five ounces to fill up. So I only added about three ounces of clear resin. I dropped down some silver crushed glass bits in the center of my coaster, just kind of like as the center of my flower. And now I'm gonna go in with some alcohol inks from Let's Resin. I'm gonna be using peach red, lemon yellow, and sapphire blue. You can see I just did the peach red around the perimeter of the mold, the lemon yellow inside that, and now I'm gonna add a few drops of the sapphire blue. And I actually saw this technique, well not this exact technique, but a similar technique on Instagram from everything underscore resin. So um, I actually, she actually has a YouTube channel. She's in India. Um, so I will link her channel down below. Definitely go check her out. Um, huge shout out to her. I believe, I, I don't want to say this incorrectly, but it's resin with Kripa. Um, I believe that's how you pronounce I believe that's how you pronounce her um, name hopefully I'm not saying that wrong I apologize if I am so now I'm just going in and drawing my flower petal flower petals um, I'm actually using this is a silicone q-tip and you can get these off Amazon I'm just dipping into that white that we mixed up and drawing flower petals so I started with a few flower petals in the center and then I'm just building those up just adding bigger size petals as I go. And that's pretty much it. This technique is so easy. I didn't add any heat to this at all. Um, I had hardly any bubbles in this resin. So I didn't have to, you know, hit it with my torch or use my heat gun at all. And i um, just going to finish up adding my flower petals here and then we'll be ready to demold it. And I did get a new laptop and microphone for uh, Christmas. So I am basically relearning how to do videos. Um, I used to do everything on my phone previously. So bear with me guys if you're having a hard time with the audio. Hopefully the quality of my videos is better. Um, that was the whole point of switching to a laptop because it can process the videos faster. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you're noticing like, you know, her videos are sounding a little bit different. I'm still trying to learn out, learn the settings on everything. I'm basically relearning how to edit. So here's how it turned out. This was 24 hours later, popped it out of the mold. I think it turned out so beautiful. It really looks like a rainbow flower. I just love, love, love how this one turned out. And I have been doing lots of other flowers um, using this similar, a similar technique, but different flower petal 
you know, kind of shapes. So definitely subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those videos that are going to be coming up soon. Um, I always post, I try to post, I always try to post three times a week, three videos a week, and then I always do kind of like shorter videos, demolding videos. But let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments. I just love it so, so much. I think it's gorgeous. I hope you guys give this a try. Definitely check out this resin from Laura's Art Corner. And you can see here it looks different with a darker background. So if you wanted to kind of add like black, fill up your mold the rest of the way with black before you demold it. Or you could even do white too. Um, I like the clear transparent look so I'm gonna leave it like this but you could always go in and fill up your mold the next day with a color to give it a backing layer thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you liked this video if you did leave me a like hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot helps out my channel if you watch a few videos back to back I'll see you guys soon for another video bye guys